Master by Barristan Man. Look at that label. It's just, this is one of my favorite labels probably ever. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's up there. I mean, it just looks like Christmas. It's so nice. I've, I've actually, I got this at Christmas and it's been sitting in my house for a month and it's a crime that I haven't used it, but I've smelled it about 30 times. Um, so this isn't, this is a first impression of, of it, you know, lathered, but I've, this is a very, very familiar scent to me. Um, I love Earl Grey tea. Um, if you've ever, gosh, what's the brand of that tea? It's the blue and black gray uh, boxes you see in like, you know, grocery stores. I buy those all the time. I drink it a lot. It's very good with a little bit of honey when you're sick, but it's a, it's a black, it's a strong black tea with bergamot. And uh, this replicates it very well. It makes an addition of patchouli and I think ginger in it. Those are the main ingredients. So it's not exact, but it's very close. Without further hesitation, let's get this going. And the scent is opening up. I would say it's, it's higher on the medium spectrum. I would say seven. Seven and a half. May I'm I'm gonna go with seven and a half on strength. It's if if it were a little more accurate, which it's very close. I mean, it's like ninety five percent. I think the patchouli is what makes it um, differentiate differentiates it a little bit for me. But if the bergamot were a little stronger, and the ginger maybe a little less patchouli, it would be a hundred percent. But that's nitpicking. It, it's fantastic. It's this is instantly a top 20, 20 cent for me. And of course, you know, that changes all the time, depending on the person. But this isn't going to be a review so much. I mean, everybody knows Barrister Man is at the top of the food chain. And this is the glissant base, and I've already reviewed that. I think it was two videos ago I reviewed that. And so I'll still post the chart at the end. Um, the marks of, you know, the marks on performance will be the same as the other, that it'll just get a, uh, a, probably a little bit different score regarding scent. So expect this to score a little higher than, uh, I, I did the, uh, lime lavender cedar. So, cause I, I definitely like this one better. Uh, I like that soup a lot, but I like this one better. It's going to get a little bit of a higher score. So, um, stay tuned for that. Past one of wet the razor, wet the razor. Red tip, as you can see, it's a stunner. Astro blade, so let's get going. Three days growth. Seems to be doing a lot better with this Astra. That's 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 a good sign. Another thing is I don't always stretch my neck skin all that great, and I definitely wasn't the other day, so I'm gonna be more intentional with that too. So far, so good. Um, neck, the weird directions my hair goes, it's just really hard to get a good first pass. That's close. So I, I feel like sometimes I have to kind of go sort of cross and with, it's at a weird angle. Almost like a 45 degree angle. Okay, not bad. Loving this scent though, man, it's so nice. Minimal pressure. Man, gotta love bergamot. If you don't like bergamot, it's so, I feel so bad for badly for you because many soap scents worth their salt have it in it. And when it's mixed well and dial, you dial it in, man, it's so, it's one of the, I'm a big citrus fan if you can't tell. And it is just one of the kings of the citrus scents world. Some people are sensitive to it, especially like in essential oils. So, you know, some, sometimes essential oils can, you know, some people are more sensitive to essential oils than they are with fragrance oils. So there's, I'm sure soap makers have to take a lot into account. There's a couple little spots I'll buff, but I'm not gonna do much more. I've got enough right there. Ted, be right here. 
Soap is protecting me today. I'm, I've got the water dialed in. Not that this is a thirsty soap, but you know, it's real easy to just get careless and shortcuts, and you don't want to do that. That's your face, you know. You want to take care of it as much as you can. All right, guys, I've applied the alum and not a, not a lot of sting. I think I'm in good shape for this shave. I think the uh, the Astra in the red tip was a winner. Um, I think that'll be my go-to from now on, so I get to keep this beauty. Uh, Lucky Tiger is, while well, it's not a perfect match, it, it's got, you know, chamomile extract and uh, it's a light citrus scent, so it's a pretty good it's a pretty good pairing. You can't go wrong with it. I don't have the aftershave, so I, I may get it because I like it enough to get it, but... Um, that is a very, you know, very close, and I would, I would recommend it. You don't like bergamot, you don't like tea or ginger or patchouli. The patchouli is a little lighter, but, um, you know, our noses are all different. Um, some of you may think the bergamot is more obnoxious, but just because you may have a sensitivity to it that I don't. So, um, you know, keep in mind all those things before you buy. Um, can't go wrong with the label. The packaging is stellar. Um, as far as things that are like this soap, um, I can't speak from personal experience, but I can go by what other people have said, and people speak glowingly of Reef Point Soap's Earl Grey and Ginger. Uh, that is usually held up as one of the top three Earl Grey scents. Another good one that I've heard of is um, How It Call from Talbot. Th that one is going to be a little harder to find. If you got a, you know, a bear sir man pass a floor later laying around that you don't want and somebody's got it, you, know, you might be able to get a trade out of it. But uh, until it comes back, you may not be able to try it. Um, the only other one that I can think of off the top of my head is Dapper Dragon uh, Green Tea and Bergamot. Now it's green tea, not black tea, like uh, Earl Grey. Earl Grey is a you know a, a dark tea with bergamot, um, but it's you know it's got to be similar in my mind. And I think it comes in the vegan base. Um, it may come in the tallow base too, but um, if you want to go off of my review of the tallow and vegan bases for Dapper Dragon, um, I scored the vegan base I think nine or ten points higher than the tallow base, and that was sent aside because the scents on both were neither. All, you know, they weren't stellar, so. Um, but that's all for today. Um, check out my score at the end for the uh, adjusted score for scent. Um, the glissant based score will be the same as it was for the last video that I used. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't, um, or dislike and tell me what you didn't like and what I can do better. Until next time.